Happy New Year. I wish you a year with more inclusion. Maybe a year in which we even start to value diversity in our societies. Anyway, all the best. In the today's video news, two items. We will look at the importance of the Accessibility Act, a European law to make services, goods and products more accessible to all of us. Sabrina will explain that. And the second item for today is an interview with a representative of the Estonian uh, government. They want to make deinstitutionalization an item of their uh, presidency. And we had the opportunity to speak uh, with the representative here in Brussels during an event organized by the uh, European Commission. Accessibility and community-based services, two key requirements for a more inclusive society. Enjoy it. The European Accessibility Act is about not creating additional barriers for persons with disabilities. Uh, the Act aims at setting common accessibility standards for products in the field of uh, ICT, so uh, mobile devices and electronic services. Think, for example, of uh, mobile technology uh, such as mobile phones, uh, e-commerce services, ticketing machines, uh, check-in services. All these services are currently needed and are more and more required by society, but not everyone is able to use them. And the Act aims exactly at removing barriers and make sure that also persons with disabilities have access and um, uh, will be able to use these products. So the Act is of course a very important step in the good direction when it comes to promoting accessibility standards for persons with disabilities. Uh, of course, it remains rather limited in scope, so more actions will be needed to broaden the accessibility perspective at European level. Um, in terms of the advantages, of course, the Act will be uh, very important for persons with disabilities. We are talking of uh, roughly 15% uh, of the current population, but at the same time also other people will benefit from it, so elderly, children, uh, families and friends of persons with disabilities. So the impact of society as a whole will be uh, very important. So the European Union can take a real leading role, setting the example and also guiding the member states towards mainstreaming accessibility in uh, their policies. Um, this is definitely an opportunity that should not be missed. Uh, to our members, uh, we would like to recommend them to encourage them to strongly cooperate with the governments and make sure that the Act uh, gets through the legislative proposal and uh, uh, is adopted. When it comes to the business world instead, well, we know that there has been uh, um, a lot of resistance. Many organizations are actually lobbying against uh, the Act and uh, we would like to invite them to uh, a constructive dialogue with us so that they could also see uh, the benefits of the, of the Act and at the same time also uh, ensure that the Act becomes an opportunity, a very positive uh, opportunity for all. Mr. Wright, you represent the Estonian authorities here in Brussels. Uh, you announced today that uh, you want to organize during the Estonian presidency a conference on deinstitutionalization, the development of community-based services. Why is this so high on the agenda of the Estonian authorities? Uh, it is a very important uh, theme, uh, not only for us, I think it's a Europe-wide uh, very important uh, issue because if you look at the demographic uh, challenges, if you look at uh, social policy needs mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. reforms, then we realize that uh, every individual uh, has uh, more and more value in that sense because uh, we need uh, that everyone uh, could be active. Uh -huh. uh, DI as a concept uh, allows us uh, also to uh, propose a new challenge for the society. Okay. It is domestically for us very important, but uh, I really see uh, very relevant links uh, and importance in uh, Europe. Okay, and do you also have uh, an ambition with regard to European policy agenda? Do you hope to have an impact on, on, on the other member states with, uh, with this event, with this conference? When I'm meeting with my uh, colleagues uh, across Europe, then uh, I can see that uh, the same struggles, the same issues uh, are at stake. So basically what we hope uh, with this conference is uh, also to uh, have a sound uh, messages uh, in terms of DI and in terms of DI challenges, okay. but also uh, to 
outline the future prospects of DEI uh, for the Europe.